Hello guys, I'm going to be showing you how we can get started with Met Journey and step by step of course you don't have to worry about anything if you don't know absolutely anything you want to get started. So first of all there's actually two things that you need to take in mind. The first thing that I want to do, I'm going to close this, what I want to do is to open a new tab like this, I'm going to type Met Journey. So as you can see, I do have the MedJourney already here into the default. But if you don't find that, you can go into the MedJourney.com fast forward slash application. And this one is going to be sending you into your own account. If you go into the Google and you only type MedJourney like this, it's going to be sending you into the very first part. It's going to be hearing something like this. So there's two ways. And the easiest way to access here uh, MedJourney is to go into the sign in with Discord. So MedJourney actually works with Discord. If you don't know what Discord is, it's an amazing place to create some different chatbots and you can have more than just one conversation, team conversations. And I mean, it's really, really easy to use. So if you don't have a Discord account, just go into Discord and you can sign in using your Google account, your Microsoft account, whatever you want to do. Now, uh, once you're here into Discord, what you want to do is to sometimes going to be asking you to verify your account using a phone number. It's not that hard, guys. You just need to do that really, really simple. In my case, I need to go into the open Discord. You can download, of course, this application if you want to. But in my case, I just want to leave it like that. And here it's going to be sending me into the login section. And after you sign it in, you're going to be seeing something like this. So um, here into this code, what you want to do is to leave this open so we can get started into MedJourney. So once I go back, I leave this like that, of course. I want to go now back into MedJourney. And here into MedJourney, what I want to do is to look out for the sign in with this code. Like this. So if you already have an account here into this code and MedJourney, you just need to hit into Authorize hit into authorize like this and it's going to be sending you into this part so what you can do is to join the beta mode and this one is going to be sending you the invitation of uh, joining mid journey into inside this code so once you hit into accept invitation it's going to be redirecting you into this section that says mid journey so we have done a very simple step now really really easy to do so uh, what I want to do now is to focus into how to get started using MedJourney now that I have MedJourney integrated into my account. So as you can see here into MedJourney, I have several stuff that people are creating. So what I want to do is to focusing into have my own server so I can have my own privacy. So what I want to do is to go into MedJourney and focusing here into the newcomer room. So you can go into 124 or 154, whatever you want to do. You want to leave this like that. And before you can do anything, you want to make sure that you already have a server created. In my case, I don't have this. I mean, I, do, I already have this already created. And if you don't go into add a server, let's say create my own for me and my friends, and you want to choose the name of your server, a photo, and hit into create. In my case, I created this one that says AI images. So go back here into MedJourney once again into the rooms of new newbies. And here I want to locate the team member list that appears into the upper side that says show member list. Look out for the one that says MedJourney bot, like this. And look out for add to server. So I'm going to click this option. And it says this will allow the developer of Pajoni Bot to yes, this and this. So you want to choose the server. So uh, what I want to do is to create a new server here so you guys know how we can do this like to get started. So let's go for example number one. And get into upload. I'm gonna go into my downloads. I'm gonna be choosing just something really, really easy, like this, and get into create. And so uh, once again I'm gonna go back here into my Metjoni. I'm going to do exactly the same thing that we just did before. Look out for the Medjourney bot, add it to the server, and the one that we just created, example number one, and hit into continue. You want to enable all of the permissions so uh, Medjourney can be working properly. So you don't have to worry about anything there into the privacy policy in terms of services. So with that being said, scroll a little bit down, look out for authorize, 
bebop bebop as discord says you want to scratch the part that says i'm not a human or in my case it says i am a human of course sorry for that and the authorization has been completed now so hit into the x mark go into your server that you created as you can see this one says example number one and this one it says good to see you mid juni but so if I go into my general text channels, I do have now my mid journey available. So you don't have to worry about the creating some uh, channels here. I uh, do have two by default, so you want just to focus into the general section. So once you are in here, what you want to do is to type the fast forward slash. And here you can see the mid journey bot comments. So we can go for asked, blend, fast, help, imagine, info, invite, and much more. In today's tutorial, we just want to focus into one actual Medjoni um, bot comment that is the Imagine. So here into Imagine, you can ask wherever you wanted to. And what's going to be doing the actual uh, server here is that it's going to be generating an image based on what you asked for into the prompt. So before you can do that, if you ask for wherever ta is stuff here, it's going to be asking you just to accept the terms of use hit into accept and then you're good to go if you type fast forward slash uh, info it's going to be appearing the information about yourself your type of subscription your job mode the best ability and much more information in my case speaking about the fast time remaining i do not have any minutes yet anymore of course but if you want to uh, let's say for example you want to earn or you want to subscribe to, to something more you want to go into the fast forward slash and i want to go for subscribe like this go into the answer mark and it says uh open subscription page i'm going to go into the yep and it's going to be sending me into all the costs of the met journey so as you can see here's the basic plan the standard plan and the pro plan uh if you want to pay for generally of course it's going to be costing you a little bit less so with that take in mind I can go back into Discord. So I'm going to be showing you something that I did here into my artificial images that I created um, several weeks ago. For example, here I typed, uh, create an astronaut riding a killer whale and navigating through the galaxy with mysterious creatures in a hyperrealistic style. High quality 4K. So this is what the computer generate for me, which I think it's really, really amazing. So once you have this generated, you could be seeing these options. So U stands for upscale and B stands for variations. So here, uh, if I choose U1, for example, it's going to be telling the server to upscale the image number one, which is this one, one, two, three, and four. So I choose the upscale image number one and it throw me this. So there we go. So now what I did, once you have your image, uh, what you can do is to make different variations of an image that you have used or already created. So I typed it here, make variations, and based into this image, the Medjoni bot generated me four different variations of the same position of the uh, of my actual astronaut and killer whale, like this one. So I do exactly the same thing that I did before. It's going to be asking you to... Uh, which one would you like to upscale or see best? So I typed into, let's say this one, it appears in here, and here I typed into two different realistic styles. So in my case, I think that the best option was the actual latest one because this one is not that accurate. Uh, the whale is too weird here. So I just stick around with this one and I download out this image. I can open this in a browser or I can look out for my actual um, account into Medjoni. So I can go into sign in, I can go into my gallery, and here are all my generated images that I have created so far. I can go into the plus one, and here's my images into 4K resolution. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started using the Medjoni bot. As you can see, it's a very, very amazing place to get started. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you don't want to see more amazing tools with the Medjoni and how to get started and a few prompt ideas. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you next time, guys.